<laughs> I, w I was asked one time, as part of this process, I was, on, I was on Bill O'Reilly one night in the very heat of the primary season. And O'Reilly said to me, why don't the Republican candidates attack Trump? He's clearly the front runner. They need to attack him. And I said, I said, Bill, Donald Trump is the grizzly bear in the revenant. <laughs> if you get his attention, he will get awake. When he gets awake, he will walk over, bite your face off, and sit on you. <laughs> The other candidates watch him do that and go, not me, no, 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 let, let the bear eat, it's okay, I don't want to bother him. And that started with, with low energy Jeb, he has this, people again, you know, people forget who Donald J. Trump is. I mean, all these people in the news media, and this is a major part of the watershed we're in, we're in the early stages of and why I so much wanted to come here and share with you today. This is a genuine watershed, there, there is an old world it's much deeper than just liberalism. And there is the post-November 8th world, if, if we can make it real. I tell everybody, the Trump rally has to be turned into a Trump reality, and there's a big gap in those two, and it's going to take a lot of work. So people in the elites couldn't figure out that this is a guy who'd made his entire living marketing to consumers. That he had thought every day, how do I get you to come to my golf course? How do I get you to come to my hotel? How do I get you to come to my casino? How do I get you to buy my tie? How do I get you to watch my TV show? And so he has this intuitive, we were talking about debating one day, and I, he said, what's your advice? And I said, I don't have any advice. I said, you're a better debater than I am. Because he intuits, he's a totally different debater than I am. I'm not, I'm not denigrating myself, I'm okay. But... <laughs> But he intuits the audience in a way I can't do it. I cannot get the rhythm the way he does. And so you had low energy Jeb, which is, by the way, totally untrue. I mean, Jeb Bush is a perfectly fine guy, was a great governor of Florida, is a good friend of ours. But he said it in such a way that it stuck, stuck to such a degree it got inside Jeb's head. And Jeb ends up running around New Hampshire, literally running, to prove he's not low energy. <laughs> This is not easy. I mean, this is, this is an, and I'm, I'm just telling you, one of the great disgraces of the propaganda media we have, which is what we should, all of us in the right should describe the propaganda media, drop the term news media till they earn it, yeah. and begin to realize that the propaganda media cannot come to grips with the level of talent that they're dealing with. 